Welcome to Veterinary Anesthesia and Standard Canine Endotracheal Intubation. This will be part B to our um, endotracheal methods. And today we're going to use uh, a live canine. This is Mr. Bean. And he's going to help me show you um, how we measure or choose a tube for the size of animal, of course, in dogs. And even cats, we have varying sizes of uh, breeds, different breeds, different sizes, uh, different anatomy. And so sometimes it can be difficult trying to choose the right size of endotracheal tube to perform uh, an anesthetic procedure. And so two basic, there are two basic techniques utilized in veterinary technology. One being, if you look at the diameter, the relative diameter of the nares of your dog, that would be the estimated size for your endotracheal tube. So with Mr. Bean, his uh, little nares is roughly approximately about 4.5 millimeters in diameter if we take and look at the aperture of this tube. So I would definitely start with a 4.5 or a, a 5.0. Also, the other technique in veterinary technology that's used is the, um, the measurement of the nose from the top of the nose to the bottom of the nose and, um, and roughly taking 50% of that length and that would be your uh, diameter of the endotracheal tube that you would choose. Secondly, I'd like to use Mr. Bean to show you the how to measure the tube itself to make sure that you are not going to extend the tube past that thoracic inlet. So with Mr. Bean, he has a, he's a small dog, but he um, has a small uh, little muzzle. And so when we go to measure him for tube placement, we are going to place the end of the tube at the thoracic inlet. And we're gonna, we want it to be about mid muzzle so that we can tie it either to the upper part of the of the um, maxilla or the bottom part of the mandible and then we're going to measure and Mr. Bean would look straight there and we're going to measure on our tube exactly where that point is we know that if we go any further than that if we advance this tube any further than that then it would be past the thoracic inlet of our patient, and that's what we do not want. So those are two methods of measuring your endotracheal tube so that placement is safe for your animal. And, um, and that concludes part 2B of veterinary anesthesia.